And the next speaker for two minutes is Mrs. Bauer. Köszönöm szépen, elnök úr. 2008-ban a bizottság gazdaság élénkítő tervében. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, the European Council has taken a close look in its package at overcoming the crisis by having clearer rules. And the Council in 2009 simplified access to funds. So, solidarity was the underlying principle for introducing this crisis derogation. Seeing as we are still in crisis, it's incomprehensible now that the, cri that the Council is not willing to extend this derogation. Now, I have seen around me that a number of traditional companies such as Malev, uh, the, the airline company, have gone bankrupt and a number of companies have gone bankrupt, which means that a, a huge number of jobs have been lost. So all in all, I do not understand why the Council is hesitating uh, to extend this crisis derogation. We can see globalization has speeded up as a result of the crisis, so the crisis plus globalization are having an impact on specific regions more than others. It is absolutely unacceptable to argue that uh, extending this crisis derogation would actually jeopardize the EGF. So I call on the Council to continue working on this question. Thank you. Well, in, since the noise level is rising, I would ask if it is possible that individual debating clubs are shifted outside with respect to the speakers and to the efficiency until we reach the votes. Next speaker would be Mrs. Costello for one minute, please.